Hello my fellow heroes of Litas and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to check out the new mage clan which is called Dawnbreakers. We will go through the appearances, trait and skills of both the female and male champion. And by the end of the video we will discuss the clan as a whole. Let us start with the male champion's appearance today. When I first saw this champion, I immediately thought of Heimdall from the Thor movie. They do have some resemblances, don't you think? But well, this is obviously a character who possesses holy magic. There is no need for me to even point that out as if I just discovered the rarest diamond on earth. About this appearance though, it does give me a hint that he might be a healer slash damage dealer. So it will be interesting to see if I'm right once we get to the skills. Now let's check out the female champion. This is the exact same concept as the male. The developers didn't even swap the equipment she's holding for something different. Literally. The only change they made is the design and colors of their armors. Her armor design is more whitish, while the male's armor has more gold in it. This is so extreme it almost makes me wonder if their skills are gonna be the same too. I really hope not though. But anyways, before we move on to the skills, let's see the clan trait. This trait is called Last Wish, and the effect has the following. The caster grants allied champions 1% critical evade rate for 6 seconds when the caster is defeated. This effect cannot be stacked. So only when our male or female champion dies, this effect will be activated. And it only lasts for 6 seconds. I am not seeing how this trait will work out to be honest. But well, it is time to see the skills of theirs. Starting with the male. The male's active skill is called Vision of Truth. He will attack the enemy who has the highest strength. In this attack of his, he will deal 480% damage of their strength and inflict Vision of Truth for 8 seconds. The targets that are affected will have their total strength capped at 75% of their starting strength. This effect cannot be removed. I will try to explain this in a different way for those who have trouble understanding. So our champion basically aims for the strongest opponent and deals damage to him or her. In the attack, a Vision of Truth effect is put which limits the opponent to only being able to use about 75% of their starting strength. So if the opponent dealt 100 damage points at the start, now he or she can only deal 75 damage points. And this effect cannot be removed. It is an interesting damage dealing and debuffing skill. Let's move on to the passive, which is called Prophecy Reappearance. When our champion enters the battlefield, he will immediately cast his ultimate skill. This causes our male champion to lose 50 energy per second in the next 8 seconds. During the battle, the caster's attacks cannot be dodged and the attacks of his inflicts divine damage. This divine damage ignores invincibility, damage immunity and death immunity effects on the target. So what this actually means is that our champion can penetrate the enemy's immunity effects that I mentioned above. So it can be really nice, not gonna lie. But now I'm curious as to what his ultimate skill does. Let's check it out. Celestial Enlightenment Our male champion will inflict damage to the enemy target equal to 860% of her strength. Additionally, at the same time, he also costs a prophecy. This prophecy says that if the affected target costs an ultimate skill in the next 8 seconds, all ally champions will recover 250 energy points, and they will also gain 25% damage reduction effect for 5 seconds. To benefit the most using this skill, we actually need to time it properly and predict or calculate when the opponent may throw their ultimates. So using the auto attack mode with this champion in the team may actually be less beneficial now that I think about it. By the way, I'm also a little bit confused about something. Like why does it say her strength in this ultimate skill and their strength in the active skill? Is it a typo or am I missing something? If you know anything about it or would like to throw in your guess, feel free to do so in the comment section below. I want to give my final review and thoughts on both champions after I also see the female skills. So let's move on and start with her active skill. It is called Chain of Judgment and when activating this, she will link up with the enemy champion who has the highest energy for a total of 5 seconds. The linked enemy champion takes 120% damage of our champion's strength per second and has the constitution regeneration reduced by 40%. Each time the enemy target gains energy, our female champion will steal 50% of it. This skill sounds like a proper skill and I really like it to be honest. It damages the enemy a total of 5 times and each time the damage is 120% of our champion's strength. 
then the enemy is deep buffed in terms of the constitution regeneration, and our champion will steal 50% of whatever energy our target gains. So yeah, this is a good start at least. Let's see our passive skill, which is called Divine Prophecy. Oh wow, this is really long. I hope it is not as complicated and entangled as it looks, but let's see. During the battle, our champion's critical evade rate will be increased by 30%. When the battle starts, our champion will gain benefits whenever the following prophecies are fulfilled. Prophecy number 1. An enemy mage champion is deployed. Prophecy number 2. Two allied champions are killed successfully in 4 seconds. So when the first prophecy is fulfilled, the caster will gain 30% damage reduction for 10 seconds. While when the second prophecy is fulfilled, all the allied champions debuffs will be removed and they will each be granted a shield equal to 10% of their max constitution for 8 seconds. The prophecy can only be fulfilled once in one battle. Well, this is interesting. I feel like the first prophecy is more likely to happen compared to the second one. I do wonder something though. The last sentence of this skill says the prophecy can only be fulfilled once in one battle. Does this count for both prophecies or just the last one? The sentence looks kinda connected to the second prophecy. But logically speaking, I assume they meant both of them. Anyways, it is time for us to move on to the ultimate skill of hers. The ultimate is called Radiant Revelation and says the following. All debuffs will be removed, excluding those that cannot be removed, from the allied champion who has the least constitution. Additionally, a prophecy will be cast where the allied champion must stay alive for 5 seconds. During the prophecy period, all damage taken by that allied champion will be calculated after the prophecy expires. That allied champion will also receive true healing during the period which recovers a total of 25% of their max constitution. So, from what I'm understanding, the allied champion won't take any damage for those 5 seconds, but receive all this damage together after the prophecy expires. And it will also heal the allied champion with 25% of their max constitution. To be honest, I was planning to make a conclusion like always and save who should summon or not. But I'm not in a good mental space at the moment, especially with Bloodline. It's not anyone's fault, I've just been very busy in life and I didn't get time to play Bloodline as much. So unfortunately I didn't test the champions or ask for expert opinions yet. So maybe I can make a follow up video once again if need be. And I also request players who have tried out this champion to leave their opinions and experiences with these champions in the comment section below. Anyways, thank you all for watching today's video. Feel free to leave a like, comment below and subscribe to the channel. You can also tap the join button if you want to become a member of our channel. This will give you special perks and it will allow you to be part in some creative decisions for this channel. No pressure though, I won't force anyone to join us, it is completely up to you. By the way, we also have an ongoing giveaway that you can join simply by subscribing to the channel. This all being said, have an amazing day everyone. Take care, stay foxy, adios, bye.